There's been quite a lot of discussion over recent months about people who have motorcycles and smartphones that have the cameras in and how the excessive vibration basically screws up the cameras and uh, makes it that the cameras aren't propping in your phone anymore. So for quite a while now, I've been using these um, quad lock uh, vibration dampener on one of my motorbikes. I've got another one to install another one. So I thought I'd show you how to do that and give you my feedback on how well this has been working so far. So we're here in my garage and I have my quite aging but still perfectly fine uh, iPhone 8 Plus and as you can see I've got the quad lock case on here so you've got the little quad lock um, mounting system. I've got another video on the channel about how I installed uh, the original quad lock mounting systems on both of my bikes and it must be about I don't know, three or four months ago I, I picked up one of these uh, motorcycle vibration dampeners. Actually I picked up two, uh, one for each of my bikes but I hadn't been using the Indian for a while so I had installed this uh, on my Honda and it's been working absolutely fine and I've had no issues whatsoever um, with my phone. Now obviously it being that the old 8.1 it's not got the most advanced camera system in there but I have seen issues with this exact phone as well by some people that ride with them on the motorbike so I'm pretty confident um, that this solution works really well. I'm actually doing this video on the 29th uh, of November uh, 2021 so it's currently Cyber Monday so if you're watching this video today and you decide to pick one of these up uh, there's a link down in the description um, they've got 30% off Cyber Monday in their store and I think it's free delivery as well and if you're watching this after again use the link in the description you should get 10% off your order hopefully but yeah I'm a big fan of the quad lot products uh, and this works really well so I'll spin the camera around so we can have a closer look at um, what this looks like on the Honda and then we do a quick install to show you how to take the existing quad lock mount off fit the anti-vibration damper and away you go it literally takes a few minutes. Apologies for a bit of mess in the garage, there's kind of stuff all over the place at the minute, but um, you'll get the general idea. Okay, so this is my Honda CB1000R, and you can see here is a quad lock uh, that I have on here, and you can see it's got this little triangular thing uh, around the side, and that basically is the vibration dampener. So if we come around the other side, you might be able to see it a little bit better. You can just see here, it just, it's basically got some rubber bushing in there. So as things move around, uh, the vibration is dampened. So it still fits in the same way it did uh, with, um, without the, the vibration piece, because basically you're just removing this top piece, adding the, the, the vibration dampen a bit in there. So we have a little look over on the Indian. You can see that's how it looks right now. And we're just gonna pop that off and then fit this piece. So I'll just show you, if you've not seen the quad lock system before, um, how easily it works. So on the back of your phone, as I showed you already, you have the little quad lock piece. You basically just pop that in and on, as I can't do it very well with one hand, it's just <laughs> swap hands. You pop it on the top, push down, and it's into place. And obviously you can have it um, horizontally as well if you want then when you want to take it off just get underneath and off it comes it's an absolute doddle so let me show you how you take the um, standard quad lock piece off and what's in the box on the vibration mount and how to install it okay so you've seen the box already it's basically real simple in here pop this up pull the tab to open it just like this and inside we have just a few things. You have the vibration dampen amount itself, and then you can see just here embedded is a little Allen key, which I just dropped, but it's exactly obviously the right size for the quad lock system. So you haven't got to go hunting around for tools, they send you uh, the bits and bobs that you need. Um, there's a little bit of information material, but as you'll see, it's really straightforward. All we're going to do is on the existing quad lock mount, put the Allen key in, open it up to pull the front mounting piece off, screw this 
um, back in place basically through the hole we can put the allen key in that then turns the screw about on the other side pop that in place and then put the existing mount back on the top of here and we're done so pop over on the Indian and uh, I'll show you what that looks like okay so if you can see it's clearly here so this is the existing quad lock mount so again we just get the allen key that was supplied pop that in the top gently take this off obviously it's a little bit springy so just keep an eye on it when you're taking it off And the whole piece comes off just like this. So you put that to one side and it leaves just basically the standard mounting just here. And that's what we're going to apply uh, the vibration dampener to. So if you grab that, you can decide what orientation you want to have it in. Personally, I like to have it in like a, a triangular formation. So I'm gonna mount mine just like that uh, and make sure that it's nice and straight for me. Get the allen key back that was in here before just line it up with a hole and tighten that up okay, you can't use the short end it's it's going to fit no okay so make sure it's nice and tight it's already got a bit of thread lock on there so it should be good you can see already it's a bit of vibration dampening that happens, but it's not too big. It doesn't look unsightly on the bike, in my opinion. Then we need to put this bit back on again. I like to have it lined up so that you can read the quad lock um, writing. And again, just make sure that's central to how you want it lined up. Apply a bit of, a bit of pressure. Just make sure the screw can be lined up with a hole properly. Tighten it up and then that's it. So it's on there, and again, we can just pop the phone on, just like that, and it works absolutely perfectly. So I hope this video helped. If you use a smartphone on your motorcycle, definitely check out Quad Lock. And obviously, if, you, if you've already got a Quad Lock anyway, definitely invest in the vibration dampener. I think the normal price is about £15, I can't quite remember, um, but I think it's worth it, you know, Depending on what phone you have, you may have spent a thousand pounds on your smartphone. So investing a little bit more cash um, so you don't damage and screw up the camera on it, I think makes perfect sense. Um, when I've ridden the bike with them on, there is a slightly little bit more movement, of course, because obviously it's soaking up the, the vibrations as opposed to it all being there uh, in the mount itself. Um, but it doesn't make navigating, uh, which is basically what I, you know, should be reading text message or anything whilst you're riding a bike. Uh, but I have the screen up there to help me with navigation and stuff or just having the phone on me so if someone calls I can see who's calling and then answer it in my headset but yeah to me it's kind of a no-brainer so hope it helped if it has um, please like this video again links down uh, below the description uh, and consider uh, subscribing and pressing the bell notification icon for other Spectrum Geeks related video thanks as always for watching take care of yourself and tell the next one goodbye for now